As you know, most computers store data in the ASCII format. This is a sample of the ASCII collating sequence. Meet Oscar. This is what his name looks like stored in the computer. Each group of bits represents one letter of his name. The ASCII value for a capital O is 79. The lowercase s has an ASCII value of 115. A lowercase c is 99. The ASCII value of a lowercase a is 97. And lowercase r is 114. Case folding allows us to go from a capital letter to its lowercase counterpart and vice versa. In ASCII, the value of a capital letter is 32 less than its lowercase counterpart. Inversely, a lowercase letter is 32 more than its capital counterpart. Unfortunately, case folding is not so simple when using Unicode or Locale. Let's look at Unicode and a way around this problem. Unicode's complexity comes from its support of multiple alphabets. For instance, sometimes a capital K is really the Kelvin sign. Capital K and the Kelvin sign both map to a lowercase k. However, the lowercase k doesn't know what to map to. In most cases, you'll want to use ASCII case folding anyway. You already know that a single A modifier affects character class shortcuts, but a double A tells Perl to use ASCII case folding. So this pattern will always map to an ASCII capital K or lowercase k. Because locale varies from one site to another, you'll have to consult your own internal documentation. Next time, we'll look at anchoring patterns.